have to read a berry. No, he's twisted his uncle from playing. Gordon also got food poisoning. Oh, and now he's up with a funny tummy all night. Oh, and I just realized my kid with a twisted uncle has a bunk bed. <laughs> Welcome back to another day in the, what we pretend is calm and sensible, but is actually hectic and wreckish. Household of my final gen of the Nuts of Berry Challenge, who is, of course, Blue. We are trying to get our newest adopted little child, Val, to sleep. But Val, she's adjusting to the new house, but there's still a few little teething issues. I'm going to try reading her to sleep and see if that helps. She struggles with going to sleep at nighttime. We don't really know what her life was like before, but she struggled with touch. Last episode, she didn't want to be hugged by anyone. But then by the end of the episode, she wanted to hug her like older brother who is sleeping in here, little Bowen. So we are making progress with it. We also had Rain, who is like the buffest sim I've had in a really long time. Like, look at them shoulders. We had him age up into an adult as well. We gave him new hair. I need to figure out what to do with his life. He needs to figure out what he wants to do with his life because I have literally no idea. No idea what to do with him. The only aim he's had so far in life is to break up all relationships because he doesn't believe in true love after knowing that his mom cheated on his dad to produce Bowen. So this family is basically the white picket fence, which we don't actually have. We have a bush right now. We've Although we got a little, little white fence there. A white picket fence from the outside, but inside there's a lot of calamity and drama and I would have it no other way. <gasps> And baby is asleep. Amazing. Okay, don't wake up. Go to sleep yourself. So whilst everyone has a good sleep, and so I don't have to listen to the most annoying sound of the game, which is the sound of a laptop being broken, I thought I would just check in to see how I am doing. So of the rules, the things I have to do to complete this challenge, I've done that. We've adopted a child. I've mastered all of these skills. I don't actually use photographer very much, and I don't know why now I think of it. I don't have room for a studio, and I feel like without the studio, they don't pose very well for pictures, but I should try and take some more photos as live, shouldn't I? Got to master the critic career, which I've done. This I haven't done yet. This is one of the longer aspirations to complete in the game, but that's fine because I'm not in any rush to do it. I'm just kind of enjoying the challenge. Marry my high school sweetheart, which I did do, and then stay with them until I die and have a one-time secret affair. So we've done everything apart from this super parent aspiration. Now we did make some progress on it last episode. So I did the full parenting mode thing. I still do need to have a child with three positive character values though. And I was kind of hedging all of my bets on Iris and then Iris became a teenager and those three values that were in the realm of being able to get those extra traits, they all started to drop because being a teenager is tough. I don't think she's in any phases. Oh no, she is. She's in a loud phase at the moment. She also was getting teased a bit at school for being like this really like, you know, perfect, does whatever mum says, dresses like all girly. She was getting teased a bit for that. So she's kind of taken on like a bit more of like a, an edgy um, appearance. Well, not really. She just kind of gone like a little bit skater girlish, but I feel like she's done it more because of peer pressure than that actually being who she really is. And she's gone to go ahead and check in on little Val as well, which is cute. So today is a Sunday and I added some new lots around the town. Oh, we've got a stinky diaper. Okay, let's sort that situation out, please. So I added a few new lots around and about, which I want to go visit today. So I added a new park. I added like a coffee shop that's called Sunbucks, which is like Starbucks, but obviously a little bit different. I also added like a restaurant because there was no restaurant in my Willow Creek, so we could never go out for a meal. And I want to try and do like a few of those things in today's episode. So now everyone's up and ready and the stupid laptop's not making that god awful noise anymore. What I think I'm going to do is because Gordon needs to collect more donations. I got to get 500 simoleons. I'm going to like throw a donation drive slash kids day at the new park and then after that we can all go for a meal. I think that sounds like a good plan. So since I am now oh am I meant to be? Yeah okay so what I'm going to do with Liv and some of you guys suggested this as well and it makes total sense. I'm going to negotiate a bonus first. Try and get every last little bit of money I can. Um, and then starting from tomorrow, we're going to start calling vacation days every day until we can get our retirement. So, oh my gosh, did I just get that bonus? Wow, amazing. Well done. Close than ever to being promoted. I mean, I'm already level 10, but you can keep getting it above like plus one this whole time. I don't want a new job. No, thank you. I'm now like supporting Gordon's career because he supported me at the beginning and now I've reached the top. So I know I want to support him. So we are going to organize another donation drive for him. So let's get the gang together and everyone that I'm close enough with to ask for money. I'm going to ask for money from them. So you can see some of the new lots I place as um, Sunbucks Coffee Shop. This is still listed as a museum. It's meant to be 
be a restaurant though so i'll need to change that before we visit and then we've also got magnolia blossom redo which is the park here so i'm gonna go ahead and head here with the gang so this is the new park we've got a little bit to eat here there is a pool at the back there's a chess area a basketball court a huge kids area which is great because i think bowen needs to make some friendos because he's always spending so much time in his science lab and his homework that i don't think he's made any friends we've got a place to go rollerblading a place to go gardening and yeah it's just a pretty cute park so i'm gonna see if iris would mind playing pirates oh you don't have enough imagination skill val you can't play pirates Okay, why don't you just play in the ball pit instead? And if you won't mind keeping an eye on your sister. And then we will start charming people to take their political monies. Because that's what politics is, right? Getting money from your friends to do them backhanders and favors. Ooh, I'll also help fix their bad relationships for them. Because they're meant to be advising and influencing lives. And I've done very little of that, to be honest. I think also just talking up other sims seems to work as well so like if i talk up like this pancakes lady i think that counts as advising too or at least that's what you guys told me in the comments so thank you i'm wondering as well if promoting my cause helps too because then technically i'm like influencing their politics so hopefully it does Gordon really knows how to tug on the heartstrings. An emotional appeal and a thousand, a hundred simoleons for the cause. Amazing. Well done. Rain is out finding some new victims for his villainous Valentine uh, aspiration. And I'm not going to stop him. So why don't we... Uh, Appeal to the emotions, share our insecurities, flatter them, see how all that goes. Someone's just done something good. I don't know who's done what. Oh, another 100 simoleons. Charisma level 10. Well done, Gordon. Okay, so Jackson here is going to be my next victim because I'm now a young adult. So my dating pool is even wider and my heartbreak pool is wider still. And okay, Bowen, this is a lot of kids right here. I, there's like six kids on my screen. Surely you can go and play the pirate and make friends with some of these children. A fires oh my gosh no way join their parent adventure i think you might be related to this kid if it's a fires because keen on fires and also they'll probably be great fun and you really want to make a bff so i think we should make that happen okay oh my gosh there's a child entrepreneur here <laughs> look at this oh my gosh what is happening with this is it because someone's imagining it wow okay that's amazing someone's imagination is wild there's a child here who's for some reason an entrepreneur her name is milner who again i am probably distantly related to because Milner was the name of Ash's first like partner who we actually won't be blood related to then but was our first partner. This is the problem with the game at this point. Everyone is like related to each other. But she's looking real sad. She's not happy about being a child entrepreneur. I don't blame her. However, her hair is really cool so I want to be friends with her. Ooh and Liv suddenly got freaked out by a criminal mastermind and went running to go and check on a toddler. She's like oh she's fine she's fine she's fine. Who is the criminal mastermind? mind i'm itching to know now and gordon you're supposed to be schmoozing go schmooze away please and okay i'm trying to get gordon to get some money out of his brother as well but literally talking to his brother bums him out because he's so evil interacting with evil sims really brings a good sim down gordon is a good sim such a shame they've chosen a life of darkness oh jeez. i don't even know what he does what is his job he has given us some cash so whatever it is it pays pretty well oh and he's a chef of course he's a chef isn't he i forgot about that that's how him and Liv clicked because she's a food critic he's a chef can i make it any more obvious okay so rain is discovering that despite the fact that he is like he could bench myself oh no, a bit wobbly there myself and ali at the same time he's actually surprisingly deft on his feet look at that look at that absolute amazing skill iris is spending the day hanging out with childhood bestie and still bestie doing some cloud gazing together which is very cute val is getting a little bit sleepy but has done wonders for her imagination skill today which i'm very happy about she wants to go back steer carefully She's really enjoying going to the park, which is adorable. And for some reason, we're all talking to the doctor who will just won't die. But maybe we'll donate to our cause? Question mark? Oh, and he really doesn't like someone nearby. Who is it that's really annoying him now? I don't know. He got his money. I love what he thinks of his constituents. Mind you, they're not because it's a charity career. He's raising money for charity. But she's like, wow, you're so responsible. And he's like, you're weird. You with your Star Wars regal, you're weird. And someone around him is like, he's not liking. Someone's making him feel unhappy. So I think I think it's time to dip and go to the restaurant. I might ask Bowen to bring his new friend because she's really down and I was trying to console her about the, her death. Like she's had a death in the family that's making her 
sad. However, I'm just gonna nip to Managed Worlds real quick because I want to fix that restaurant before we go to it. You can't do this while a sim is dying. Wait, who's dying? What is happening right now? Who's dying? Who's ruined my evening by having the... Oh. Oh! Wait. Oh! <gasps> Katarina Berry! No! No! Quick! No, she's a berry. The berries don't die. Oh my gosh, everyone here right now. We need to fix this. No, 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 no. I know I don't... No, I do get on with Katarina. I spent the whole day chatting with her. Why would you freeze to death? Why would you put on that stupid rig out? Where is the Grim Reaper? Okay, let's try pleading for her. Look how beautifully well-dressed I am. I know I kind of look like the evil wives from The Handmaiden's Tale, but still, please, please, please. Don't just let my cousin die in the park. This was meant to be a nice fundraising day out. I think I even achieved my fundraising goals. I did. Don't ruin it by taking the soul. <gasps> did he say no? Oh my gosh, it's so hard to plead from the dead in this game. She's dying of freezingness. No freaking way. I can't believe this is happening to my cousin. I can't believe I've just watched my cousin die. How, 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 how? Well, this is a truly terrible way to end our little park day, isn't it? Oh, geez. Okay, well, I guess I'm like probably... I'll probably take her urn. And wow, she died of icicleness. Katarina! Liv's sentiments about Katarina. Closer after a fun party. When the party's over, Liv still feels the afterglow when she spends time with Katarina. She was a good friend. She was my cousin and she was great after a party. So this is incredibly sad news, but the good news is I can travel again, so... Okay, I know I'm literally... Oh, Val cannot visit this lot. You can't bring a child to a restaurant? No freaking way. Okay, I'm really sorry, Val, but apparently you're being left out of this. I'm playing with fire by eating a restaurant so late when it takes 12,000 hours and also when we've just witnessed a death. But I'm gonna go for it anyway. This is the new restaurant that I place. It was from the gallery. It's one of the top performing restaurants. Like, it's just one of the most downloaded ones. And I thought it was pretty cute and I really missed having a restaurant, so... Rain, however, is super bored. He hates the great outdoors. Being there, done that. He's, he's bored. He finds it difficult to be around his family. I also invited Bowen's, like, friend that he was struggling with because I feel like Liv, if anyone's friends want to come to stuff, she's always like oh my gosh yes please bring them along that would be so nice i think she's trying to give herself a prep talk in the mirror also just because of how it's seen from the outside like look how wonderful this family are they're always inviting people around like they're so nice so we've also got iris's friend chrissy here for dinner as well so we'll get some sodas for the kids rain's old enough to drink now so kind of have to get him one and i think we'll just go for a main course wow there's a limited menu here very limited menu. This is a chef's choice, so I guess we're all getting hamburglers. Actually, I feel like Rain would deliberately not get it just because we're saying we're getting it, so he can have fish tacos. Okay, so we're trying real hard to like lighten this little girl's mood, but she really is feeling super down. I'm gonna discuss her sad mood. Also, I feel like his empathy is quite good. His empathy is really good, and so is like, you know, like his social skills. So I'm wondering if he can try and like alleviate some of her sadness at all. He's such a sweet, nice kid, genuinely. But I think only like Liv has the ability to like try and remove like the sadness because she's still very sad and I don't want another death today the thing is Liv's sad as well jeez oh and it's almost Bowen's birthday wait Bowen how close to your birthday is it two days left until you're a teenager oh as soon as my children become teenagers they, they become so much harder to just be like these perfect little children or for Liv at least they do I'm interested to see how Bowen's gonna end up Okay, let's try if I can calm her emotions. I can also share emotional burden. They're both feeling sad, so she can try and do a little bit of a um, nice emotional burden together. You are staring at her quite meanly right now, though, so maybe relax that face just a touch. But I do feel like she is the kind of mom that's always like, you know, looking after her kids, like, friends and stuff. I, I get that vibe from her. There we go. Look, we're trying to calm her down. I don't know if it will work, but we'll try all the same. And we'll make sure that we invite her around a bit to keep a little eye on her. At least she's got a burger and a soda for now. And I noticed that Bowen had a dizzy head. Oh my gosh, I've injured another one of my children. He's twisted his ankle from playing. A little pain medication and some rest will make it better. Oh my gosh, two of my children have now been injured. No one else is in. Are you still injured? No, you're fine now. Somehow you've not injured yourself from lifting all these weights. Iris danced in her room once and needed surgery. Like, she's so clumsy, but I kind of love it. And no one else is injured yet. Everyone else has got through the day. Except from Bowen. Bowen, you're more similar to your sister than you think. Do I need to get him some pain meds just for a twisted ankle? It feels like a bit overkill. I might just get him to rest it tonight and see how it is tomorrow. And since it's prank day, as Iris, I'm gonna, like, prank 
my best friend by pretending I have a crush on her. I know this is quite a deep emotion to go for. I just want to see what happens. We're just going to prank her being like, oh, by the way, there's a reason I invited you to this restaurant today. It's a bit of a mean thing to do like a prank on, but they're also teenagers. They sometimes do mean things without thinking of how deep it is. Okay, they didn't get any romance from it, but it didn't go down badly. It definitely did not go down badly. Although I'm worried about her also sat next to Rain because Rain seems to have some effect on ladies. And I also feel like she would totally be his type as well. Okay, but we did a little flirtation and it did not get knocked back. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, I'm gonna just like see what her attractiveness preferences are. Please don't be Rain. Please don't be Rain. In fact, Rain better not be finding her attractive. I'm gonna get Rain to do a little scout of the room. Oh, I can't do it. <gasps> I'm not into women. Oh, I thought they would have made such a cute couple, but she's not into women. Also not into burgers either. Oh, and Rain took that as his opportunity to throw rose petals on her. Brother, seriously? No. Oh, yes, though. Look, her first impression of him is anti crush. Is dislike at first sight a thing? Because she doesn't like his vibe. And his first impression is, yeah, she's weird. Right. We have a child at daycare and it's 1 a.m. in the morning. So I think we go ahead and pay for the bill. And then let's head our little butts home, please. They've not charged us for the meal. I think it's because I'm a food critic. So I don't get charged to eat here, which is really cool. So yeah, after what was an altogether kind of low-key, emotionally devastating day with the whole death thing and at 2 a.m., why are we working out? Why are we all so energized? I don't know why we're all so energized, but you want to do an energized workout. Okay, fine. I'm just going to be heading to bed. Oh, and then just to add insult to injury at... Wait, why are you in that bed? Oh, are you in that bed crying? Oh, bless you. You, sh you need to sleep in here though, Liv. Um, after all of that, Gordon also got food poisoning. <laughs> Good job, Gordon. Oh, and now he's up with a funny tummy all night. No! Oh, and vomiting too. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna report that. His wife's a food critic, so I feel like in this house, if you get food poisoning, you definitely report it, you know? And we got $200. Why not? Okay, so we've got school. I need to make sure that I am taking a day of vacation. Right, I'm gonna wake it up to make sure we get that done. Oh, and I just realized my kid with a twisted uncle has a bunk bed. <laughs> he is in pain. Oh. Maybe I should get him some pain meds. I just, he's good. Ah! I don't like pain meds. I don't like pain meds one bit. I'm like a suffer through the pain kind of girl, you know? But I do feel really bad sending him to grade school in pain. That's not great. Maybe I'll take him to the doctors after school. Also, I'm gonna get him to, let's keep doing a good job at school. You're a clever googie egg. <gasps> and Iris got an excellence funny at school. Clever little googie egg. Um, I still, I keep looking at this dog bowl. I'm like, she got an excellence bunny in school. I feel like Valerie's settling in quite well. I feel like, you know, we need to give Rain something to do in the daytime. We do have bills to pay, but we can totally pay them. I'm thinking that we get a puppy. And I really want to get a golden retriever. So let's, let me see what's available to adopt. I just feel like a golden retriever would like just suit this family, you know? Okay, here are the puppers that are available. Oreo, Ico, Cody, Smokey, Bubblegum, Wolfie, Bloodhound, <gasps> Smokey, Chow Lab Mix, Snugs, Bubbles, Jake, Kia, Loki. There's no Golden Retrievers, no. Although Oreo's really cute. I really wanted a Golden Retriever. Oh, do I try again tomorrow? Or a little Corgi? A little Corgi could be quite cute. What is a Lhasa Apso? I want a big dog. Oh, they're quite little. I do like a Newfoundland. I do love Newfoundlands. I think I might wait one more day. Let's just wait one more day and see what's available tomorrow, okay? And since I have a day today, I'm gonna see if I can make things up with that guy that I accidentally ruined the career of. Here he is. I'll send him like a little chat and a little text and see if he'll come over. If he won't, then I'm gonna send him a sad text to guilt him into coming over. Okay, Iris met Rosemary at school. I feel like Rain knew Rosemary too. I don't wanna become an author. <gasps> And he's coming over. Okay, amazing. This is how we're going to make it up and teach him some of our favorite dishes for his restaurant. Oh my gosh, straight away, it's all going to absolutely love him. <laughs> straight away, he's going to hate me. Okay, she is feeling really blue and she's wanting to mourn and she's wanting to cry in bed. But this could be a healthy way to get through our grief. Try and make amends of things that we've done in the past, you know? Let's do some cooking. And all these toys and my toddler decides to play in the toilet. Why don't you play with the cars? Why don't you play with your tubey thing? Why would you play in the toilet? Why would you not use the stuff? Oh, because it's been blocked. Okay, fair enough. 
There you go. Play with your little brum brum cars. Perfect. And we're going to teach Luario here how to cook beef wellington. And okay, this could be the start. No, I don't know if it will be the start of a beautiful friendship, but we're making amends for the past, okay? We're trying to fix the wrongs of our life. Like when we decided to completely live stream someone's breakdown. Has no children. Okay, Saj. And oh, okay. Mood swing time. Another teen going through a big phase. Just feels like you can't do anything right and everyone is judging you. Okay. Why don't you invite over new friend Rosemary and then get a shower because you are a stinky teenager. <gasps> and I already made that guy happy. It's working already, gang. Brain spends his day sleeping, so he kind of loves that. And Iris wants to make herself a drink. I'm not sure about that. Oh my gosh, I've invited a kleptomaniac into the house. Please don't rob from us. Please, I love my home. And okay, babies come home still in pain. Go easy on that mud pile when you've got a twisted ankle okay right get a shower and then we'll bring you to the doctors i think and oh my gosh look at that <laughs> i do love how the teenagers like stomp around the house i think it's so funny i think if she's going through another like phase they're doing their homework together by the way i kind of want to like switch up her style a little bit again oh my gosh what was a slow look at each other are you guys friends or are you not friends? I'm not sure. I literally can't tell with these two. Why'd you turn around and look at each other so slowly? I don't know. But this is Rosemary who we met at school. If she proves interesting, then I'll give a CC. But for now, she's got to stay. She's got to stay as she is just for now. And we earned money on our day off. Amazing. And oh my gosh, I can do the alien secret handshake with her. Wait, what? How can I do the alien secret handshake with her? How have I got enough aliens to be able to do that? It doesn't say anything here. Is it because we're both related to aliens? Apparently she does too. Look, they're doing some kind of weird... Is she an alien? Is Rosemary an alien or not? I can't tell. Okay, we're going to get some paracetamol for Bowen. That's the first time I've done that. Is he back? Is it in his inventory? Go ahead and take your paracetamol. And was that help with the pain? Okay, his pain is going down. His twisted temple is going down. So that's good. I just felt bad. Like he's been in pain all day. I thought he'd have like a little cast on his ankle or something. The good thing is, whilst we've had a few like slight issues, I mean, to be fair, surgery is kind of major. Other than that, nobody seems to have any like chronic illnesses yet. It could well happen, but it hasn't happened yet. And oh, look at this. I'm like, you know, does Rain want to move out? What's he going to do with his life? But I feel like he's kind of happy living in his parents' basement, not being forced to find a job, you know? He seems very happy just vibing out, but I'm, he's also been cute with his sister, so I can't even be mad, you know? I also don't think if people are in the same household, you can't ask them to pursue their dream career, which I find really annoying because I would love to like the Sims to pick it rather than me every single time. But yeah, I can't like influence him in that way, which is super annoying. So our new friendo is heading home. We seem to get on fairly well, which is nice. I do perceive her as basic looking though. <laughs> you guys were saying in the comments of a video that maybe Iris gets this like a uh, boho style as she gets older and she's literally just made friends with somebody with like a little boho skirt on and stuff. So, and the top. So maybe she starts to now she's like, you know, Chrissy, we'll still be friends with her. But now we've made this new friend though. Maybe we start like naturally gravitating a little bit more towards Rosemary's style. Let me know what you guys think about that idea. In fact, now she's left. Why don't we go ahead and try that on her right now? I think we should. Because I kind of like mixing up her style a little bit. We've had this one for a while, but she's like, you know, well into teenhood now. So I can definitely imagine her switching up her style a little bit. And I'm not great with boho style. So I'm actually gonna like see what the game suggests for me. And just kind of take a few little styling tips from my new friend. Maybe something like this could be quite cute. Could be quite fun. I might switch her hair up as well. But what if we go for like this kind of like little top? Maybe in like a little sage green. We swap out our skirt for something a little bit more flowy. Be like that sort of vibe or like this i don't know i don't like where the skirt the in-game skirts end they start sorry at a really weird place yeah, they all start in the oddest places and oh my gosh how did i never realize how much iris looks like willow oh my gosh she looks just like her how have i just been blind to this this whole time it's literally her clone how has this happened on a completely different game that's willow's face Okay, that's wild. That is actually wild. Wow. Okay, I like this hair on her. And then she had those little pink bits at the front before. I think she actually suits brown hair the best. And I do want to eventually bring her back to brown hair. Uh, that's more ready, actually. But I think for now, it would be quite cool to have a like experiment with some hair.
hair colors while she's a teenager. So maybe we go for like a little pinky kind of hair on her because she did have a bit of pink before. Yeah, she's hanging out with new friends now. So I'm going to mix up her style a little bit too. And it's kind of like what being a teenager is all about, isn't it? Figuring yourself out. Trying out like a few different looks and styles until you sort of figure out who you are. And, and sometimes that takes a really long time. Okay, there we go. Slightly updated Iris. And here's how she looks with her new look in game. She's still most definitely a teenager, but oh my gosh, just a big hairy arm in my face, but a little bit of a different look. I like this. She's experiment. She's figuring herself out as she goes along, which I think is really cool. Her old friend has literally just knocked on the door, which is kind of awkward, right? Because like, she's going to be like, what are you wearing? And she's like, oh, I'm just hanging out with my new friends. You know, Rosemary from school. Rosemary even sounds like quite like a hippie kind of like boho -y name, doesn't it? And I feel like, well, you know, we'll still be friends friends with Chrissy. We're just kind of... Wait, why are you sleeping in that bed? No, don't sleep there. You were just kind of growing apart. You change as you get older. Like the people you hang around with sometimes change. The way you dress sometimes changes. The person you are kind of changes. And I feel like that's just what's been happening with Iris. So let me know what you guys think of her new look. We're going to kick off next episode with Bowen's birthday because he ages up tomorrow. I am so intrigued. Oh, and immediately going through a phase. Great. Because I want to see how he looks as a teenager. Like, is he going to look more like Liv or more like Erwin? We will see in the next episode. Val also only has one day till aging up. So we're probably going to have a double birthday next episode. So if you guys are excited for that, please give this episode some love. And I will see you guys there. Bye.